just making a loose sketch of the sock trying to get proportions of the and the width of the sock here putting in the heel I counted to see how many stripes were on the top there were five marking that off counting to see how many stripes are on the bottom four on the bottom four is a lot easier to mark off than five now I'm trying to draw the shamrocks that are on the the sock it's really hard to be random. You have to remember to space them out, put large ones and small ones, and put them in different directions. Um, tendency is to put everything nice and neat in a row on a stripe, but that's not the way it is. Okay, checking it out. There's the sock. There's the sketch. Now I'm taking my Micron pen, going over the lines with black ink. I like the Micron pen because I know I'm going to be using uh, a water-soluble pencil on top and the lines won't blur. This week I've been playing with pencils. I did, let me show you, go back here. And clip for a moment. Uh, flipping back. I did this portrait with these Derwent drawing pencils. I did the grass, uh, the leaves on the crocus with a Derwent watercolor pencil. And I, looking back here, added drama to this uh, picture of a Kinder Joy egg with these woodless color pencils by Koei Noor. So playing with some different pencils today, I am going to color my March socks investment picture with Derwent ink tents. So I picked out some colors, some to match the sock. I have some light green, a little yellow, some darker green, some pink, and some of this navy blue, this dark blue over here. So I'm going to use these Derwent Ink Tense pencils to color in my socks for today. These are water soluble. First, I'm going to color. I'm going to start with the lighter pink. The first stripe up here is pink. I'm using two different colors, a lighter pink and a crimson. And I don't like to use just one solid color. And as if you noticed, I'm putting a little darker around the edges of the sock, a little lighter in the middle, and leaving some white spots. This is going to all sort of blend together when I use um, the water on the brush. Now I'm doing a lighter blue and a darker blue for the blue stripes. Again, I don't like to use just one color. I kind of like to combine a couple different colors. To me, it makes a richer picture. Making sure I have some dark areas and some lighter areas. The toe and the heel are a little bit darker green, and they also have uh, lines in them. So I'm pressing hard to get those lines. I want to leave some of those lines when I add the water. Now I'm doing the darker green stripe. Again, blending the two different colors. Doing the little elastic at the top. Again, doing uh, putting heavy strokes so I can have some lines. When I add water. For the lighter green, I'm going to put a little yellow and then add the uh, light green on top. Try to blend that together because I didn't have that yellowish green color. Now the shamrocks are a different green, a darker green. And being sure to leave some of them white because those will be the silver ones when I'm done. 
Now I'm going to add some water. I uh, picked a smaller brush um, than I usually use. I usually use an 8 and I picked out a 4 and a 6 and I'm using the 6 here and I'm holding the 4 in my hand so eventually I'm just going to put that down because I'm not going to use it at all. 6 seems to be small enough. I like these ultra round brushes because they have a nice fine point on them. As I'm blending the colors, you can see that I'm trying not to make it even one color all the way across, but leaving highlights of the two different colors, some darker areas and some lighter areas. Except for the yellow-green, I'm trying to blend that one a little bit more because I'm trying to make that lighter green color. My pink was a little different than the pink in the sock, but that's okay. Adding some water here, leaving a lighter spot. The blue is pretty dark. Adding some water to the blue. And I finished the sock, um, wetting down all the colors. I got a metallic silver pencil. This is also water soluble. I'm going to add it to the silver shamrocks. and a little Stickles glitter glue. The sock actually is, has the glitter colors on it. Decided to put a color in for the background. Taking this tangerine orange just putting, laying down some color around the sock. Doesn't have to be even. I'm going to wet it with the brush. Get a little background color. Okay, after it's dry, I'm going to do my journaling. March Socks Exchange. March 8th. Allow yourself to have an off day. But don't take a day off, Ross Stendhal. Some words from hashtag 30 pages, 30 days. Spelled days wrong, fixed it quickly. Ink tense pencils.